Hello and welcome students. I am Sunita Chaudhary. Today we are going to study the second chapter of Science and Technology Part 2 and that is Life Processes in Living Organism Part 1. In this lesson we are going to study these points the living organisms and life processes, living organisms and energy production, some nutrients and energy efficiency, cell division, a life process. Let us move to the next point that is the living organisms and life processes. We know that in the living organism different systems are there for example the digestive system, reproductive system, excretory system, respiratory system and so many. These systems they work in coordination with each other. That means they worked in communication with each other. There is a perfect coordination in between these systems. To do the work, all these systems, they required the energy because all these systems, they require the energy for their functioning. Then, from where they get this energy, what is the exactly the energy source for all these systems? The carbohydrate, fat, lipids, these are the sources for the energy. The carbohydrate, fats, lipids, these we get through the foodstuffs that we eat. Along with the foodstuff, the oxygen, it is also necessary for the energy production in the living organism. Human and other animals, they consume the fruits and vegetables to get the energy. We know that different types of fruits are there, different types of vegetables are there, in that some leafy vegetables are there. So, we consume the, these vegetables to get the vitamins and minerals. Again, the carbohydrate, we obtain the carbohydrate from milk and the fruits and the jaggery, the sweet atoms that get, gives us the carbohydrates mainly. And the energy that we get from carbohydrate is 4 kilocalorie energy from per gram of carbohydrate. Carbohydrate, these are the richest source of energy for us. We know that during any game, the players, they consume some foodstuff. Why they consume this foodstuff or what is exactly present in that? We know that in such foodstuffs, the glucose is there. They consume the glucose and glucose, it is the instant source of energy. To get the energy during the games, they consume this glucose. Let us see what is the respiration and how does it occurs. To clear the respiration, observe the video of the respiration. Respiratory system. All human beings breathe in oxygen and it helps to break down the food absorbed by the body. The food gives us energy to work or play. We breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide. The breathing in and breathing out is done by the respiratory system. We breathe in air through the nose. Air is filtered due to the tiny hairs inside the nose so that no dust enters. The dust-free air enters the throat and into the trachea or windpipe. From here, it enters the lungs and the oxygen from the air is taken by the blood and carbon dioxide is given out. This process is called respiration. Let us see this diagram. It is given in the textbook. This is a diagram of human respiratory system. You have to label the diagram. You know very well what are the labelings. This is the nasal passage. This is a oral or the mouth cavity. Then this is the pharynx. Then this is the larynx. Then this is the right lung. This is left lung. And this is the diaphragm. And these are the alveoli. Up till now, you know that the respiration, it is nothing but the intake of oxygen 
and release of carbon dioxide this is called respiration but this respiration it takes place by two ways the body level respiration and cellular level respiration what happens in the body level respiration in the body level respiration oxygen and carbon dioxide that exchange between the body and surrounding means oxygen is taken in with the nasal passage and carbon dioxide it is released outside the body through the nose once again this is body level respiration and at the cellular level respiration the food stuff that are oxidized either with or without the help of oxygen means then what is oxidation you studied it in the chemistry the oxidation it is the thing but the combination with oxygen sometime it is also the release of hydrogen it is also called oxidation during a chemical reaction then in the cellular level the food stuff that we take in that get oxidized means that combines with the oxygen but this oxidation of food stuff it takes place sometime with the help of oxygen means in the presence of oxygen and sometimes in the absence of oxygen too then see the cellular level of respiration in detail the glucose glucose is oxidized aerobically and anaerobically the glucose is oxidized anaerobically means in the absence of oxygen and aerobically means in the presence of oxygen first we see the aerobic respiration that means the oxidation of glucose in the presence of oxygen how it takes place see glucose is oxidized step by step with the help of oxygen so it is called aerobic respiration the oxidation of glucose it completes in these three steps this is the first step it is called emp pathway or it is also called glycolysis then this is the second step that is tca cycle or it is also called krebs cycle and this is the third step etc reaction that is electron transfer chain reaction let us see one by one first see the glycolysis the glycolysis it is also called emp pathway e mp this is stand for the name of scientist this process of glycolysis that was discovered by the three scientist the gustav emden otto meyerhof and jakob parnas along with their three colleagues they discover this process so the name is given e mp e for emden m for meyerhof and p for parnas for this purpose they perform the experiments on the muscle cells then this emp pathway or the glycolysis see it takes place in the cytoplasm the site of glycolysis is the cytoplasm in the cytoplasm the glucose molecule oxidized step by step see this how the oxidation of glucose takes place this is glucose molecule it converts or it's break down into the two pyruvic acid it gives 2 atp and 2 nadh2 along with the water molecule in this case one glucose molecule oxidized to give two pyruvic acid plus 2 atp plus 2 nadh2 along with the water molecule then this pyruvic acid again it converts to two acetyl coenzyme a means one pyruvic acid molecule it gives two acetyl coenzyme a and during this conversion two molecule of nadh2 and two molecule of carbon dioxide formed then see what is nadh2 and what is fadh2 this nadh2 and fadh2 these are nothing but these are the names of enzymes these are formed in the cells and these are used in the cellular respiration this nadh2 the long form is nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and fadh2 it is flavin adenine dinucleotide h2 
this indicate that these are reduced form of enzymes so nad after reduction nadh2 form nadh2 is a reduced form fadh2 this is a reduced form of these enzymes if you like my video please like share and subscribe it and press the bell icon to get the notifications of next video thank you